cruise news and in the cruise news there are four new things coming to the cruise industry and I'm going to share those with you coming up. If you like getting the cruise news without wasting your time, this is the channel for you, so let's get right into it. Number one, Disney Cruise Line has confirmed that they have acquired a brand new ship. Now, Disney already had plans to take delivery of a new ship in 2024 and another one in 2025, and this new announcement is in addition to that. Disney Cruise Line has purchased the Global Dream. The Global Dream was part of the Genting Cruise Line fleet, which Genting, they went bankrupt here recently. And the Global Dream, it's still under construction, but it's almost complete. It is already 75% complete, and Disney was able to acquire this at a really good price. So it's going to have a new name. They're going to outfit it in the Disney style, and they're planning to take delivery of this ship also in 2025. So three new ships come into Disney's fleet in the next few years. And by the way, this ship is going to be massive in comparison to Disney's other ships. The Global Dream ship, it holds about 6,000 passengers plus 2,300 crew. The largest Disney ship currently only holds about 4,000 passengers, so this thing is going to be a literal huge addition for Disney Cruise Line. Let's move on to the next new thing in the cruise industry, and that is that MSC Cruise Line has taken delivery of a new ship. They took delivery of the MSC Seascape in Italy. This marks the 21st ship to be added to the MSC fleet. It will be going to Manhattan for its naming ceremony and then sailing down to Miami where it will be based out of for its inaugural season doing sailings in the Caribbean. The MSC Seascape holds over 5,600 pastures. Very innovative ship and another great option for sailing out of Miami, Florida. Moving on, number three, Norwegian Cruise Line may be getting some better Wi-Fi service on board their ships. Recently, Starlink has been spotted on board a Norwegian cruise ship. For those that are not familiar, Starlink is the internet service that is owned and operated by Elon Musk. And recently, a lot of cruise lines have been again making the swap. For example, Royal Caribbean International, they brought on Starlink on board to provide that better Wi-Fi access. And recently, 11 satellite receivers from Starlink were spotted on board the Norwegian Breakaway. So are they going through a trial period and are they ready to make the swap too? We shall see in the coming days. Quick question for you. How much do you use Wi-Fi when you're on board a cruise? Does the speed of the Wi-Fi service, does that matter to you at all? Is it something that you need and enjoy? Or do you just like to completely disconnect when you're away at sea? Chime in below and let us know. And the next new thing, number four, Royal Caribbean International has opened their new cruise terminal in Galveston, Texas. This past week, they had the opening and the ribbon cutting ceremony. And this is a new and innovative cruise terminal with 100% of its power, its energy provided by solar panels that are on site. And this cruise terminal will be the home for the Allure of the Seas, a great cruise ship that holds 5,400 guests. So look, plenty of new options in the cruise industry to enjoy. And speaking of new things, this weekend Kelly and I have been invited to come down to Miami, Florida for a ceremony with Carnival Cruise Lines newest cruise ship, the Carnival Celebration, and along with that ceremony, we will be given exclusive access to that cruise ship, so we're going to have lots of videos showing you around, showing you some of the amazing things, the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. We're going to show you all the details, so be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Loads of videos coming out, so we'll catch you in the next video.